the um, filter would be inside this box here but all that's in there is the jug so don't panic when you get this um, the rest of it's inside the water thingy so you've got a looks like a half um, single cup and yeah that's a, a double cup there now it feels like and is inside the double cup is the um, cleaning disc so you don't lose that just keep those things in there and that just fits in here right okay now that's explained. I need to put some water in the, in the base and just check making sure there's also meant to be in here a, a thing for um, cleaning the needle somewhere um, and that's I just found that on the top here. You see that thing there that'll just pop off somehow, yeah, it slips out that way. It's got two needles, one for cleaning the steam jet and one for cleaning the little holes in the group head. Now, um, first thing you do before you turn any, put any power on is fill it up the water. Unfortunately for us, we've got a um, movable, a movable um, tap from the kitchen here, which just pulls out, drop it in there, turn it on, and it takes about three litres of water, and if the camera can see it, probably not, but there's a level um, that comes up here, and that's a max here. And I can see the water actually coming down through there. Okay, then do this. Turn that off. And you can, of course, uh, fill it up with a jug. Um, I actually don't like the idea of having to lean over the back and fill up that thing with a jug. Um, with the DeLonghi, um, you pull the thing out like that and you can take it to the sink which is, is a good idea although this one's got a lot more um, space in it so the next thing you do is put the group head in like that feels a bit a bit raspy not as not as nice as the um, Delonghi I'll take that out there and that goes over there like that. I don't know if I'm doing this right, um, but we'll try it out and see. Now, to avoid marking anything, I'll just put that down there, that there like that, turn the power on, and of course that's not Turn, excuse me, it's not turning on because it's not plugged in. On the plugs, a plastic protector, pull that off, you can buff it away or whatever. It's plugged in there. Turn it on. And, and the operation is to run the water until it's um, empty the tank and that takes all the residues inside the machine takes them out um, so basically the first job to do is to empty that tank into this and throw it out you can see the steam just dripping out there um, these are meant to be turned off yep there we are okay so I believe you Turn that on. Sit 
certainly not getting much steam out of it. Okay, everything's ready to go for the first shot. I'm using a double cup, um, at which I'll put a, about a half a um, load into. Um, now, in the book it says that you turn the group head on and warm your group, uh, sorry, you put the tap on and warm the group head up this way, but I do it a different way, I just pop that up in there, turn that, and then I'll put a, a cup of water through there. Um, it serves two purposes, it heats up the group handle and also heats up the cup at the same time. Okay. Open that up. Now. This is a, a 440 grinder which is not perfect. a tamper here. Actually that could do with a wee bit more in it I think. Just to bring it up to the right height. Okay, fingers crossed. The idea is that the meter here comes up on one shot. We'll see what happens, eh? One cup. That looks alright. It's leaking a bit out of the head. Okay, that should be a good pour, that one. Except that could have been turned a little bit tighter. 